And let me ex- let me expand on a, on a theme here, the idea that that Trump's followers are not comprised of anger. At least that's not the animating aspect of them. And yet, all of these people in the establishments of both parties, the elites, the consultants, the so-called political science experts at universities, the punditry, they have these formulas to explain human behavior in the political sphere. And anger is at the top of the list. If you want to discredit uh, a group of voters, if you want to impugn them, you just accuse them of being angry. And if you really, really want to rip them, you call them angry and white. I've been dealing with this angry white men BS since 1990. And it just, it, it, it's further illustration of just how dense and insulated and ignorant these experts are in understanding. In this case, the supporters of Donald Trump. These people are not angry. Well, they're, they're angry. I mean, it, by, I, I think, in fact, folks, we're all entitled to our anger here. If we aren't angry about that, are you angry about what's happening at Planned Parenthood? You damn well should be. Anger is a legitimate reaction to certain things. But it is not, in this case, the energy. It's not the animating thing. It's not the reason that Trump has supporters. It's not because people looking for a way to express their anger and be done with it. It's far more than that. 